Arriving, you may already be seeing some pollen. The CDC says more than a quarter of adults in the U.S. and nearly one in five children have a seasonal allergy. If you're one of them, doctors say to get prepared. This season could be a rough one. Mandy Gaither has more on what you can do now to protect against those spring allergies. Spring is in the air, literally. With global warming, climate change, uh, we are are seeing these longer pollen seasons that not only last longer but are stronger. Dr. Pervy Parikh with the Allergy and Asthma Network says tree pollen may last through April or May and then grass pollen will start to peak until June. Then there's dust and mold with which to contend. What I tell all of my patients is start your medication early right at the start of the season. Parikh says preparing now before symptoms start can help control them. If you have asthma, she says to avoid attacks by getting on preventative or controller medicine early. For allergy sufferers, get on a regimen of nasal sprays and antihistamines, but get ones without a decongestant. So that means uh, without the letter D in it, because it's actually harmful to use that long term, like for allergies. But things like Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, those are all 24 hour antihistamines um, that actually work quite well. Help avoid getting stuffy by using steam inhalation or neti pots to open up the sinuses. Keep windows closed, especially in the early morning at peak pollen time. Avoid going outdoors at peak times as well. When you come home, change your clothes, take a shower so that pollen doesn't go to bed with you, and use dust mite covers in the bedroom. HEPA air purifiers work well uh, for mold and animal allergies, but um, those pu air purifiers don't pu purify everything. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.